as I said, no, if you assess your resource, you don't really need that much liquidity. Kahit may takot ka, kahit you want to be ano, very conservative, you still have extra. And you, you need to, to use that extra to, to prepare for something, di ba? Hello, good evening everybody. Hello and welcome to the Passive Income Show with Carl D. Hello everybody. Sa mga listeners, viewers out there, can you go to the chat box and type saan kayo nanonood? Where are you watching from? Today we have a very unique show. You know, before we had topics about money, about the personality. Ngayon, we have a medyo serious topic which is about the economy. I, I, I brought in a very special guest because I want to encourage everybody to be able to, to see the world from an economist point of view. Our next, our next special guest for today is a professor at the Department of Economics ng Ateneo de Manila University. He's also a director of the Ateneo Center for Economic Research and Development. Um, He's a favorite guest resource person basta pagdating sa economy and pol- policy sa radio, television, both Philippines and overseas. His pre- professional experience spans three decades, 30 years as an economic development specialist, investment analysis, corporate planner, program officer, lecturer, and director in government. Without further ado, guys, please Help me welcome, say hi in the chat group to Dr. Alvin Ang. Hello, Dr. Alvin Ang. How are you? Yeah, I, I'm actually privileged to, to be here and, and share my ideas and my thoughts. So what's keeping you busy ngayon as an economist, Dr. Alvin? Well, actually, uh, since I'm full-time teaching, so I spend a lot of my uh, time uh, uh, teaching online uh, from the undergraduate up to the executive levels uh, in Ateneo and also uh, some government uh, agencies as well. The topic for today is how should you prepare for the after the pandemic? Diba? Kung baga, we don't want to be stuck too long to the pandemic mindset. And Dr. Alvin will guide us para pag-open ng world and back to normal. Para tayong rocket ship, we're gonna be really fast <laughs> to the new normal. So Dr. Alvin, take it away. This is something been, that has been coming out of my mind and, you know, reading a lot of articles and studies. Everybody's so focused about the, the pandemic, but the pandemic will end at some point. And uh, what if it ends tomorrow? <laughs> are, are we ready? Eh? I mean, I asked that question myself. So it seems that uh, nobody is uh, really preparing for it and everybody's focus on the today. Dr. Yeah. Alvin, that was really interesting. Eh? So, wow. I've never thought about the question. How do you prepare? Uh, I don't even know the sentence. How do you prepare for life after pandemic? No? That's right. That's right. Ano bang nakikita nyo in, in your research? Uh, malapit na ba? It can go both ways pa rin at this time. But ako, I am in faith that as I see that as more vaccines are available, uh, and, and the biggest finding that the one that I showed first is that it was only to prevent severe cases, but it turns out that it is preventing the spread. So okay. if if we have more vaccine and less uh, vaccine hesitancy and, and the likes, uh, we we probably will see it uh, early next year. Baka, ano na, no? majority of the of the developed world is out of uh, COVID and then they can now help the others. So, I mean, we still have to think, start thinking because we don't prepare once we already see it. Diba? How do you position diba? in, in a business strategy, strategizing 
if you position after the iwan ka na, di ba? All the rest have taken the big the, the better seats, di ba? If yeah. we're gonna summarize it, let's say at least to five steps, five things mm-hmm. we can do now to prepare mm-hmm. for life after pandemic. What is your first one? Yeah, to me, the first thing I think that uh, people should be looking at is assessing the resources. No, what is your resource level right now? Uh, what are your assets? And uh, if you have done better this pandemic, you don't have. Uh, I, I I will assume you have very little debt, or you have or you have been able to manage your debt. So as you know, critical talaga assessing your resource and. One of the things we notice in this pandemic, you know, the, the particularly the top classes, top 10% of the population and the upper middle class who did not lose their jobs, who, who, who even if their business were affected, they still have positive cash flows. They actually saved a lot. Assessing your resource, eh, kailangan talaga paghandaan mo yan. Ano yung ina-assess mo? Assess your potential. Okay, assess your potential. So you have assess your resource now. Assess your potential. What are what are your uh, current knowledge and 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 skills at the moment? Because okay. sabi ko kanina, yung digitalization will will is there. It's ahead. But a lot of people only know digitalization because we can do online, we can uh, buy and sell online, we can do Facebook. But it's more than that. Doc, you mentioned kanina about money in the bank. Mm-hmm. Ano ba dapat ang, what's, what's a good financial strategy during this time? Should you be out buying mm-hmm. stuff that are cheap? Or should you just hold money and put it in the bank? Yeah, that's a nice question. No? Kasi what you are seeing is that when people are afla- afraid, they would like to be liquid. Kaya madaming cash. No? Kasi what if something happens, may hawak na akong pera, I can immediately release it. No? Of course, it's not physical cash, but electronic cash as well is counted as cash, right? So, but uh, as I said, no, if you assess your resource, you don't really need that much liquidity. Kahit may takot ka, kahit you want to be ano, very conservative, you still have extra. And you, you need to to use that extra to to prepare for something, di ba? But you know, it's very important also to know. Uh, that's why number two very important. Eh? Assess your knowledge and skill. Kailangan din. Meron ako resource pero I don't know where to go, what to do. Then skill na knowledge na kailangan mo. You need to invest on these things. You know, in, in fact, for for example, in my case, no, I already have a doctorate, but I really wanted to know data science because I did not learn it when I was doing my PhD. Wala naman ganun eh, many years ago. But that to, to, today, that is a very important skill. It's not a it's not a course, it's a skill. So I think everybody involved or wanting to do business must know data science. So it is a skill that we learn. The sister of David Lichu is here and meron siyang message uh, representing the the Sun Life industry. Hello, Rina. Good to have savings mm. in times. Doc Alvin, what are your thoughts about this? Good to have savings in good times so you can have backup in the bad times. Yeah, that's 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 correct. Uh, the only question is, we cannot have too much savings, naman. No, because uh, how much do you really need to save? You know, if you know the usual things we teach uh, financial liba, literacy is that six months of your expenses. So if you have that enough savings, you may want if you still have more. You, you know, you can be conservative, but a one year cost of living savings the rest you know these are uh, assets that uh, liquid assets that you can use to let's say prepare for you know look for good properties care of car right <laughs> and or look for companies uh, in the stock market that have you know been been battered but you know that they can recover you know right now you know that a lot of investment instruments are rising because people really have excess cash, especially in the developed world. Not only, not not just in the Philippines, but in the rich countries, because they they also receive uh, stimulus cash and checks beyond their already uh, high income levels. Right? So what what are they going to do? They cannot travel. They cannot buy new things. So what are they going to do with the money? 
ang labanan dito sa sa uh, sa preparing for the pre- post pandemic world is the one who you who studied better who knows better would be two steps ahead doc you mentioned stimulus and that there are hmm. so so much money flowing around in developed countries what are your what are the as an economist ano effect niyan sa pilipinas ano effect niyan sa akin as the average one it's like water no money is like water no you you open you open the ano the, the giant faucet so it will flow so it will flow to where it yung lowest points diba so so it can it can fill up all of those uh kahit na yung mga unusually open the uh, uh surfaces diba kaya yung yung uh, developed countries since you know It's unimaginable. We are in the middle of the pandemic, and yet the stock market in the U.S. is all-time high. In Europe, it's sitting high. So it's it's unimaginable. So how how is that happening? It is only it is happening because people are no longer looking at the valuations. They are looking at what am I going to do with the money that I have, the extra, because I'm not going to spend it anyway. So might as well buy something that will give me good returns in the future. You know, but post-pandemic, when th- people start to sit down and think, oh, this sh- this, w- this should have not happened, you know, yun, 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 magre-reassess na naman, magre-reassess eh. So the third step after, puro assess to, no? Assess your current state, then assess your skills, and then huli, uh, assess what have you done during this pandemic? Ano na yung nagawa mo? And then th- this is where people realize, Ah, I may have overinvested. I have not been logical and you know, it has become parang ginawa ko na lang for the sake na may gawin ako. And and that will backfire. How about the Philippines man? And then like how can I ride this wave? How can I take advantage? Well, in our case of Philippines, we don't have that luxury. We don't have that kind of stimulus, 'di ba? Kasi the stimulus that was Ayuda. released was Ayuda was not was not for everyone. Limited to yung mga ano lang, kakul konti lang ang income, di ba? So hindi talaga siya stimulus in a sense uh, na na it reached people, you know, na any you know, that don't who don't need the cash and will spend it. So but just the same, there is a, a, there is a stimulus that the government did not give, but those with good jobs, quality jobs receive. In the form of, you know, hindi makagastos, walang pagkagastos. So, stimulus yun, di ba? What am I going to do with this cash now? Because I cannot travel, I cannot uh, buy new things, I cannot buy new clothes, No, I don't need new things for the house. I, 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 need, I don't need to upgrade appliances and my vehicle. And, you know, most of the things na ginaso sa natin was to refurbish the house so that it can be good for work from home. So, hindi naman siguro, unless nagpa-remodel ka for good, no? So, they still have excess cash. And this also, somehow, somehow, uh, you know, puts a lot of people to inv- to look for extra investments. 